without electricity, nothing happens. Our group's responsibility is to take care of all the electrical engineering and the automation, instrumentation, controls engineering for water and wastewater projects. And, and we do that pretty much from the beginning of the project in, in a master planning phase, all the way through detailed design, all the way out into construction administration. I design systems for redundancy and reliability because those are the things that are needed to sustain a water and wastewater system. When you're talking about storms, we have to build systems that if they're in floodplains, we need to raise them. We need to make sure that all of the equipment can withstand the winds, loads, and the water that will come. There's not a lot of other groups that have the electrical engineering and the INC controls engineering under the same umbrella. And, and that really gives us an opportunity to, to, to be a lot more efficient, a lot more coordinated with our designs. Uh, I, I think the client gets a better product that way. The risk to anyone working on electrical equipment or around it is it can kill you very easily. We perform arc flash and coordination study analysis of a system at the beginning of the design and at the end of the design when it's under construction. That way we can certify that this equipment will be safe and we also can instruct any person working on this equipment how to do it safely. Our team talks a lot about being client focused and, and that's an easy thing to say. When you're putting out designs that are easy to understand and they're solid and they meet the need of the client without going overboard, and you're responsive to the needs of the client, that is what I think our group does the best.